half hours. Uh, depending on usage, right? Okay. That's um, for the up, six cell? Up to about seven and a half hours, because it's also, it's an Intel Core i3, low voltage processor, okay. it's a lower voltage stuff. Right. So the nice thing is here, you're getting more um, power and performance than you're going to get in a mini, um, but, and you're getting like the full day computing that you're looking for. So you're getting, you're finally getting that full notebook experience, you're trading off a little bit in terms of performance, but you're getting a lot more productivity, right? Or entertainment, or whatever you want to do. Um, when, then when you step up to the DM4, this is our 14-inch offering. Yeah. Again, we're looking at a metal chassis. Um, this is where you get to trade off. You're still getting, it's a 14-inch notebook, so it's a little bit bigger. And this is where you trade off. You're still trading off a little bit of battery life and stuff, but you're yeah. getting more performance, right? All of a sudden, you're stepping up to Core i5 and that type of thing. Um, and when you look at this product, you're talking about, again, that, that design. is that brush aluminum with the etch pattern on it, and the glowing HP logo. That yes. Thing, right? So, and again, less than an inch thick. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the same, same process, right? So it's got the carousel. So I would touch my music. So here's an example where I would pick out, pick out that, that, that song. So I'm playing, I'm playing music, right? The nice thing, what you do with the TouchSmart 4.0 software is you actually create magnets. Hmm. So you don't have to launch the application, look for your music, and then and play it. What you would do is the application. So now if you wanted to... So I've now created that magnet shortcut, right? If the way the technology works is you could slide your screen. But if I didn't, if I didn't want that to slide it, I could actually turn it on. So now, now when I move it, right, it's it's pinned in, and I could uh, I could just play it just by touching it. Same concept, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so, so, so other things you could do is you could launch a web browser, yeah. and if you want to remove a, a magnet, you're just, it's gone. Um, you could do notes. Let's say I wanted to keep a grocery list. Again, kind of feeding into the hub of the home concept. So I could do... Um, And then same concept, you just drag it out. It's got about a 30 degree tilt capability. And I get dragged over right there. Sorry, I think my head. Uh, we've got, got the browser right there. What uh, Rob's showcasing here um, right now is some of the new features of the 4.0 software, which is the carousel on the bottom. So what you could do, so if, if you want to create a favorite website, for example, all you would do is you would actually create a magnet. So, and it'll make a noise. So you can see magnets created. Mm -hmm. So that's it there. Hmm. So how would you drag it out? So, so what you would do here is you would create a magnet. Okay. okay. It allows you to set that up. You can hear it, but it's a magnet created. Mm -hmm. So I would close it, and there's your website. So if I want, if you want to launch your website, you would just launch it. Okay.
and you can watch your favorite movie, you can listen to music, you can even upload a video to YouTube or Facebook very easily. These are things we feel that customers, based on their feedback, want to be able to do right when they turn on the product without having to go and install a lot of additional software. So instead of putting a lot of different things on there, we've put things like making sure you have the ability to ask, ask questions and go to our support, look at our new technology, at our new blog, and then obviously do things like um, you know, uploading videos, watching movies, listening to music, uh, because really this is what customers are doing on their PCs nowadays, right? So for example here, if you come stand in front of this for a second, yeah. maybe just come a little bit closer. So right there, um, you know, we can do things like put special effects here. So if you move your head around a little bit, you'll see it, it'll follow you around. And right. you can even take on a different persona, like we can have you, for example, as a dog. So if you move your eyebrows up and down or move your head around, and top, it'll actually follow you around. So you can make kind of funny videos and stuff right. and put it on Flickr or Facebook or YouTube right away. This is all HP software. This is all HP software built in. Uh, so right when you turn on the product, you've got Media Smart. So now you're in Times Square, for example. Mm -hmm. And you know, the point is, I mean, social networking, uploading videos to YouTube, these are things that people are doing regularly. So it should be something that's just easy to do right out of the box. Right. So not only are you getting a luxurious product, but you get something that's simple and easy to use, right? As we move down here, so we've taken NV17 and our original NV launch, we've extended it out now to the new Beat Special Edition. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking at here is something that just launched in October, and the focus here is really on, on music, on really having that product that's going to make a statement. It's something that's very, uh, very loud, and you'll see here that we've gone with a couple of different changes from our previous NV. So first off, instead of uh, laser etched aluminum, we've gone with a soft touch black paint. So it gives it a very luxurious feel, and it also helps actually dissipate heat as well, so it's form and function. Okay. We've also gone with an aluminum black, black uh, chassis here with the Beats logo, so again, really making a very loud statement with the product, and still going with the very rich materials, natural materials that are going to give it that artisan quality versus that manufactured feel. And in addition to that, we've gone with a red back the keyboard, which in this lighting is kind of difficult to see. But uh, it is absolutely razor sharp at night, really rich, very nice, and it goes really well with the overall Beats theme, which you'll find also has made its way onto the desktop. So you actually get a custom Beats theme. There's three of them to choose from, so you have a couple different options. And obviously we've done a, a very different look and feel for the Windows 7 taskbar and operating system in general, just to give it that more customized feel. This special edition does come with the Beats headphones, um, and it's part of the overall Beats special edition. And it's a limited time offer, obviously, uh, as, so long as we can keep uh, have headphones, we can have this out there. And it's going to come with software like Photoshop Elements and Adobe uh, Premiere Elements as well. So that, again, out of the box, not only can you watch your favorite movie or upload a video, you can edit photos, for example, and organize your photos a little bit to a higher degree than you could with standard software. Yeah. So the king of the castle, if you will, the cream of the crop in Canada at most major retailers. And what this does that the other MV17 doesn't is it has full 3D, uh, full HD 3D, actually the world's first full HD 3D product. So you're able to watch 3D on this product in full 1080p resolution, um, and you do that with active shutter 120 hertz glasses, which means that when you put these glasses on, they're literally moving up and down, left and right, so quickly, faster than the naked eye can see. It'll take that image and give it that really rich 3D look, which I'll show you in just a moment. Sure. The other cool thing about this laptop is it has eye finish technology. So this is actually another first for, for HP and for notebooks. This is the first notebook with iFinity graphics on it. What that means is you've got three different options on how you want to output to a monitor. You've got VGA, Mini Display Port, and you've got HDMI. And also, you can actually build three monitors at once and do your computing on all three monitors at the same time. So for example, right now I've got over here my music application, uh, and then I can go over to this middle monitor here and I can do some photo editing with the Photoshop elements, which is included with the software. And then I can come over here, and I've got you know some music production software up. I've also got the ability to surf the web, um, so you can do all of this seamlessly across the three monitors. And if you're a gamer, the added value to this is you can actually stretch the image out across all three monitors, and you'll get you'll get areas of the gaming environment that you normally wouldn't have. So, for example, if you're playing a race car game, you would literally have peripheral views on the side that normally wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. And same thing in like a first-person shooter, where you're going to see things to your left and right that you normally wouldn't. So not only is it you know, the most powerful notebook that we've ever made,